before we start cloning repositories, we have to figure out where we want to clone the repository for that repo. I have access to this DA mod workbench specifically for myself. And the way that it's organized within our team is each individual person has their own subfolder. So I'm going to go into my subfolder. And within here, I will create a new folder to represent and to capture all of the code and the changes for the repository. Part of best practice, something I would recommend is that when you're creating a folder to capture and store all of the code and files within the repository, I'll try to keep the folder name consistent with the repo name itself. And that removes any ambiguity if you're looking into your folders and trying to figure out you know, where the code is coming from. Because if I were to call this completely something else and say, this is you know, a test, a folder called test one as an example, and the comms call demo repo is cloned within this repo folder name, it, it gets very difficult to map out. So I'm going to name this comms-call-demo and be consistent with the repo here. Now that has been created, I'm now going to go to cloning of the directory itself. And you can get to that by going down to this last field here that represents the Git repository. So from here, you'll want to create, you want to click clone repository, and then you'll need to get the repository link. If you go back to GitHub, you do jump to the repository and have it open. You'll want to go under code here. You want to make sure that you're not copying SSH, but copying the HTTPS link, which is how we set up the Git profile in SAS. With that, copy it over here, put it there, and then you'll specify where this is going to go. So I'll open up the directory explorer. And I'll navigate to the folder, that which was the comms-call-demo. And the profile that you'll want to associate with this should be the profile that you created with the Git access token that was generated. With that, you'll clone the repository, you'll let it run. And now if you jump back to this error message, I've noticed it comes up, but it actually does, in fact, clone the repository just fine. I think that's going to be uh, just a warning and a harmless uh, message. So I already go back now to the folder itself and I go into that uh, comms call demo. You'll notice the files that were created in that repository are going to now be available within that folder. So all of the changes that you make within this comms-call-demo folder are going to be tracked within the Git repository.